It's his, um, my brother's account, and... In Oblivion. Yeah, and we wanted to show you how to get Madness Armor. Right now, we're in the dungeon of what place? Sherograth or whatever. Yeah. The, at a door, in, a strange door in the Midden Bay is the quest. Yeah. And if you go in the first person, there'll be this little bin right here. Like, you'll see the fire, and then you'll see one that's not on fire, and then this is a bin right here. You just search it, and you can get a weapon. I would prefer for you to get the dagger, because as you can see, the it's a stronger attack. And then take, like, bread, just in case. And then what you'll do is you'll walk up here, you'll look around, and you'll look for a switch, which is right here. It moves around. And what you do is activate the switch. Every time you go, it's, it changes places. Then, let's see. Which I, right now I'm being attacked, it looks like. Right here. By a... What is it? Gremlin. A Gremite or... Whatever they're called. We search the rooms. See if there's anything. But be careful because this place is very highly booby trapped. As you will find out. There's a steel sword on that little blood thing. But I think it may be booby trapped. Oh no, it's iron long sword. Alright, well... We got an iron longsword. We'll use that for now. Um, like I said, definitely search every room, but be careful. Just potions. Be careful with booby traps, because I've died many times in the dungeon. You gotta be very careful. And this place is kind of freaky, and you will get confused and lost. All right, then you're gonna go up here. Did no? Did you get the? Did you get the? Oh, he was like struck by like gases. But uh, did you get the madness ore already? It's not. It's up here. Oh, and to get um madness you armor, you have. You can either fight to... one of these, or you can. You have to get um. Which... Madness ore. See. You, you have to have that to get. You have to have two to get like. Uh, shoes One. and like two to get Chris and stuff. You have to get two to get everything. But luckily for us, we know a glitch to duplicate it. And once you get, once you find it, all you have to do is run, basically run back, because that's this the quickest way and the safest way without getting in trouble with the guards and so on and so forth. So whenever you find it, you just run back to your room. There is either Grumite egg or Grumite. Um, madness or on those, or you can actually find a madness or deposition. And then whenever you, whenever you get back to your dungeon, just serve, serve your, your time. And we'll go to a loading screen. And then if you're not already at Crucible or whatever, yeah, just fast travel, and then we'll show you the glitch. Yeah, the you have time. to, you have to have two of one scroll and one of another and then you just double tap the one that has two and drop the the scroll that only has one I'm gonna drop this you know, I'm gonna drop this and then this. and drop the arrows Which ones? These ones? yeah and if I'm correct, this is the right place, which is actually, it's over here. Right here. And you're just gonna go up the first slide of stairs, and you're gonna go up the second one, and you're gonna go up the third one, you'll turn, and you'll, you'll see these two doors right here. What you do is you'll go into this one. Metal cutters. It's cutters weapons, and she forges madness weapons and madness armor, but if you want amber, you have to go on the like golden saint side of town. And then you'll go, you'll do this. You'll click. Double tap 34. You'll click this twice. You'll click A twice. One, two. Then you'll go, oh, well actually you can just go down and find the madness ore. 
And what you'll do is you'll drop that. And then there's see. gonna be 34 of them. It'll duplicate um, dupl them to 44. And you just start picking them up. You gotta be careful where you drop them because it's hard to get them. And if, if not, you're over encumbered, then you have to like. All right, now see how there's some over there, and I'm um, and I can't really move, obviously. So what you'll do is you'll click B, and then you'll drop drop one. it and drop click OK, and it will drop and it'll show it all um. All of them in 28. Yeah, but in a figure of one. Yeah, in a figure of one. So just click these. Oh, and sorry and for the bad camera. And it's then, yeah. It's on his iPod. Yeah. And then you'll just pick this up, and you'll have a total of 31. Yeah. What you do is you drop that, all 31 of them. And then, then you, you drag it. By holding LB. You drag it over closer. And then go ahead and pick up the pick rest. These up. Be careful so you don't pick up something of hers and then call, she'll call the guards. Then you talk to her. And you'll say, like, forge armor. And you can click two pieces of, for boots. And then you'll forge armor again. What do you and then you'll do curse, which is five, actually. Yeah, forge armor what again. Gauntlets. Or, yeah. The less. The bigger they are, or the more pieces you have to have. And then you can also forge weapon, which is like an axe, a bow, arrows. Which one and, on? Helmet? Yeah. And then shield, which is two. And then you'll do forge weapon. And you can do, mostly what I do is I do the sword. Then I do the clay Get him with the war axe, because he's blunt. And then I do the war axe. And then the bow. Then the bow the is bow. really cool. And then... You do the arrows, arrows. which are sold 25 pieces at one time. And then, you can click B. And then, see, he has then, six left. Then you have it will say madness boots, uh, mad madness um, cut rasp, uh, gauntlets, greaves, helmet, helmet, shield. But that can only be showed when he's holding a one-handed weapon. Let me drop these. He's already gonna have trouble. And then you're gonna have you can have show him that. Here's the war axe and the shield. Here is the bow and the arrows. Like I like the case to the arrows. Yeah, it's like a boot or something. Like somebody's foot cut off. And there's the claymore, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, the design is really cool, and it does a lot of damage. And then the, here's the long sword with the shield. Here, zoom back so they can see it. There's the long. There's the sword, and then. As you can see, there's like a face on the shield. There's like a fa little face on the shoulders, shoulders. And then there's a face on the stomach. And then on the helmet, it's like a dragon's a, face. A dragon, and then there's his like tail and body. And that's really all, I guess. Well, I need but to if you want to do it with amber, kill gnarl saplings, or find a hollowed amber root, which yeah. is really hard to find. But luckily we have one, something. so we can duplicate it. That's what I like about this belt. But if you want to duplicate weapons, punch twice, and right as the second one gets like fully arm extended, um, press B, and then you can do it for weapons. And then you can sell those and get rich. And the leftover madness or you just sell it to her. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sell to her what armor we don't need. Steel. She's not, I mean, they're not very worth a lot of money, but it still gets you enough money. And Drop, like, everything else. Alright, and then... Keep the dagger, though. That thing is good. Because on one side, it's like a slash, and then on the other, it's like spike. So you, like, dig it in when you hit him, and then once you pull back, it, like, rips skin off. It's really cool.
And that is the Show, oh, 